Joshua Reynolds was a portrait artist and considered by many as one of the greatest British portrait artists of his time. He created a huge amount of work. However, today we will be concentrating on two aspects. First, the self-confidence and belief of Reynolds and second, the influence old master paintings had on his work. Thank you, Alex, for giving this interview. And I was just wondering, how many restorations of paintings did Reynolds do? Reynolds had a large collection of paintings, and we think that he um, restored many of these himself. And um, the portrait of Balthazar Carlos was definitely in his collection. And we know from anecdotes that he did restore this painting. To what extent did he adhere to the techniques employed by the original painters of these paintings, or rather, did he strike out on his own? Um, Reynolds used techniques uh, which were not actually very similar to the artists themselves, but he was trying to imitate the appearance of the paint. And so he was adding things into his paint to make it look like an aged old master painting. So really, he didn't try and restore the paintings, but rather sort of improve them to how he saw them now. Yes, definitely. Um, we know that with this portrait of Balthazar Carlos, that he painted a section of sky in it. And from the analysis that we've done, we know that large areas of the paintings were um, repainted by Reynolds. Could it be said that rather than restoring paintings, he reimagined them? Yeah, Reynolds's techniques of restoration are very different from how we approach restoration today. We aim to try and keep our areas of retouching to small areas, only where there's damage. Whereas when there was a damage in a painting, Reynolds might have repainted a large area in order to cover that up. What did Reynolds specifically change about this particular Velasquez painting? When we x-rayed the painting, we found out that there were several large damages, including in the running into the sitter's head and in the sky and the foreground. And we think actually that Reynolds added the sky to the painting when he was restoring it. So he actually added a completely new component. Yes, and Northcote, his assistant, said that he thought he'd vastly improved the painting by his restoration. And I just noticed to my untrained eye that there is a almost a snakeskin appearance to the paint in the bottom left-hand corner. Could you explain this? That cracking is very characteristic to Reynolds' painting technique and it's due to the inclusion of resin in his paints and this has caused this very distinctive cracking that um, is very indicative of the fact that Reynolds has been restoring this painting. So as we can see, Reynolds was wholly confident in his ability as an art restorer. However, how was he influenced by the masters? So, Lucy, this painting by Reynolds, St. John in the Wilderness, is widely acknowledged to be a reimagination of Raphael's earlier painting, St. John Preaching in the Desert. How do you think this painting sort of reveals, gives an insight into Reynolds' relationship with the great masters? Uh, it gives us a wonderful insight into his um, very complex relationship with old master painters. Uh, but Reynolds also very typically draws on lots of other sources, um, also from later, from the 17th century, um, to create this image, which is very recognisably his as well. In the original painting, Raphael portrays St John as an adolescent youth, whereas in this picture, Reynolds quite clearly displays him as a young child. What Reynolds is trying to do is um, depict childhood, and this is a subject that fascinated him. It was very fashionable as well in the 18th century, so there were lots of um, buyers. Uh, what he's doing here is he's making his, this painting, as a religious subject of course, align with um, his secular pictures of childhood, which he called fancy pictures. And um, here at the Wallace Collection, we've got a very famous fancy picture, uh, the Strawberry Girl, uh, which you can see in the boudoir here at the Wallace Collection. Is this painting an example of Reynolds, Reynolds paying sort of homage, giving a compliment to a great master such as Raphael, and of course, like other artists like Rubens, who he also incorporates. Um, in everything he did, he shows how, uh, what a, a dedicated student he is of the old masters. At the beginning of his career, he spends a long time in Italy, just immersing himself in all the art of uh, artists like Raphael, um, Michelangelo, uh, and so on. And in his lectures at the Royal Academy, he always told his students that they had to learn from uh, their great predecessors. So he very much saw himself as an heir to the old master tradition. So really, I suppose you could say the fact that this picture here is hung in the gallery full of the old master paintings is really indicative of his success as a painter. I think he'd be very pleased to be hung here in the um, great gallery with um, some of the artists that he so admired. So I think um, this is a very appropriate place to hang um, 
uh, Reynolds is St John the Baptist. Thank you. Thank you. Reynolds is confident in his work, but rightly so. If you look at the work around us, he's worthy of a place amongst the masters found in the Wars collection.